everyone welcome to my youtube channel in the previous video we just created this home part of my hotel management system project if you are not seeing that video just go to description and check out the link in this video we are going to write the code for this manage room part so let, let's start with that let me exit this application after that we have to create here another page jframe form you can see new jframe form and here we just need to write manage room after that we have to click on this finish you can see page has been created so first we have to increase the size is to one two six six comma six hundred okay after that we have to go to the properties and we have to set the location where this page will be open so here you can see the location and here we just need to click on this and we have to delete this zero and the for x axis the value is 50 and for the y axis it's 118 after that we have to click on ok and we also need to remove min max close button so we just need to click on this and after that we have to click on close okay after that we have to save this page okay after that we have to insert a label here to display that uh, for the page so move little bit right and here just need to write manage room okay after that we have to go to the properties of this uh, and after that we have to change this to the bold and we have to change to this and we have to make it as 14 after that we have to change the foreground this one and we have to make it as this one okay and after that we have to set the icons so this one is for the manage room so here i'm just selecting manage room dot png image okay after that uh, we have to uh, like uh, insert here a button to close this form so here i'm inserting a button here over here and you have to go to the properties and we have to select a close.png and after that we have to delete this uh, button or text and just close this okay after that we have to in, uh, decrease the sizes to 30 okay a uh, little bit uh, okay it should be 30 okay after that place it here okay save this after that here we need to insert a table so here i'm just uh, selecting this table and placing it here okay and let's check it out the uh, form size is not get increased okay it does not change okay so after that we have to uh, increase the size little bit uh, right side okay let's make it as uh, 500 okay after that move little bit right and uh, we need to insert a few like labels and a few other things to insert any room so let's one by one we are going to insert that so this one is for the room number so room number and we are going to use the text field for that so i'm just placing here text field okay and let's increase the sizes to four okay uh, let's uh, increase the sizes to 465 okay leave it after that we have to insert a, another label okay and this label we are going to use for room type room type okay and after room type we are going to insert a combo box okay and here we are going also going to increase the size of this after that we have to insert another label here okay and in this label we are going to write here bed after bed here we are going to insert another label and let me increase the size of this okay and after bed the next uh, we are going to insert a label here okay and uh, we are going to increase this to uh, price okay and after price uh, we are going to insert by text field so i'm just placing it here another text field for that and after that we are going to select this all and we are going to increase the sizes to bold 14 okay so go to the properties and let's make it as a bold 14 okay just close this and uh, let me see the form okay uh, it's look like uh, this one is a little bit right side so let's select this part all and move little bit right side okay let me select this uh, label also and let's move little bit right and let me increase the size of this okay so we can adjust uh, you can adjust according to yourself okay uh, let me delete this uh, text values okay after that here we need to insert a button 
that uh, that one will be used to add room so i'm just writing add room okay and we also need to increase the size of this button so we are going to make it as bold 14 okay we are just changing the text color to white okay after that the background color we are going to change to this one okay let's close this okay so here you can see we are able to see uh, like uh, the form and after that we have to uh, like change uh, we have to set a uh, image in the background so we are going to change to absolute layout after that we are going to use a, a label here and in this we are going to insert here image all i think all page background not png image and just close this let's place uh, this to the complete form okay after that uh, we have to just need to double click on this you can see the label name press backspace and just save this form okay after that uh, we have to you can see uh, the form is completed so just double click on this and generate a uh, like a uh, set uh, visible and here we just need to write here false okay after this uh, we are going to run this uh, page home page so that we okay one more thing we just need to do is we just need to connect this manage room uh, manage room with uh, like a uh, home page so just exit this application and move to the design section and double click on this manage room button and here we just need to write set visible and here we just need to write false and here we have to set new visible is our manage room manage room dot set visible and here we just need to write true okay now let me run this so that we can see that uh, the page is open at uh, the location which we want or the like, form has been a little bit changed okay okay we don't need to do this we just need to close uh, we just need to display this that page so just close this and uh, just uh, delete uh, okay this line and let's open this again so that you can see okay okay it will take a few seconds okay here you can see we are able to see the that page okay now first thing is we are going to change this title one title two and uh, we are going to ch rename it according to this after that we will also change the room type and the bed type okay so let us start with that let me exit this application and let's move to the manage room and here we are going to table content here and first we are going to remove this rows so one two one okay zero okay after that uh, here we have to increase this to five and the first thing is we just need to delete this uh, title one after that we have to write room type okay after that uh, we have to uh, write here uh, room okay first thing is the uh, first uh, one is for the room number so here we just need to write room number the next one is for room type okay after that uh, the third one is for bed okay after the bid uh, the next one is for the price and the last one that one is for status okay and let's close this application or uh, close this okay you can see we are able to say this after that we have to just change this uh, like a room type so we just need to move to here and we just need to delete this all and here we just need to write a c and after that uh, we have to write the next option non e c okay and after that we have to just click on ok and just need to close this you can see two option had been set here after that we have to set for the room uh, bid so here i'm just again moving here and just delete this all and after that here we just need to write single double okay after that uh, triple okay after that we have to click on ok and close this and let's move little bit uh, this button down side okay leave it okay uh, after that uh, uh, what we need to do is for this details we need to create a table so in the previous videos we show you how to create the table so we just need to move to the project and in this you can see there is a table dot java so here you can see we have a table with user st.execute so we are not going to do the uh, run this page because we already created this tables 
so this will generate an exception so we are going to comment this line and uh, uh, we are going to just copy this line okay and uh, okay don't copy that uh, just write it uh, the so here we just need to write st dot execute cute update just press complete this one and in this we just need to write the query so the query is create okay here we just need to write create table room and here we just need to write room number where care and here we are just writing 10 after that here we just need to write room type where care okay after here we just need to write 200 okay and after that we have to select for the bed so bed where care okay we are also taking that as a 200 okay after where care okay after bed the next one is for price that is end after that we have to write here a status status and uh, that should be where care care and we are taking that one is for 20 okay and uh, i think uh, this doubles should be like uh, okay so this uh, uh, this should be close this should be also close so we need to close it here okay this place and let's check uh, the query okay uh, room number uh, create table room room number worker 10 room type worker 200 bed worker 200 price int status 20 uh, sorry status worker 20 okay after that let's uh, run this so that uh, we will get a message that table created successfully so this will uh, take fraction of uh, seconds so create the table so yeah we are getting the message table created successfully so when we click on ok you can see there is a running it automatically get closed so now let's check out uh, that table has been created or not so just open your mysql database one two three four five six my password is after that use hotel hotel select okay let me show you the description dsc room okay and press semicolon you can see the room number room type bid price status we are able to create this table okay let's remove this comment and let's save this okay and close this table dot java okay after that uh, what we need to do is we just need to insert when uh, like we have to fill these details after that we have when we click on add room then uh, that will insert should be insert in our database so for that we just need to double click on this add room button and here we just need to write here string 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 room number is equals to j text field one dot get text okay after that we have to write string room type is equals to j so uh, that should be in string okay string after that we have to write j combo box one dot get selected item so the get selected uh, okay not item uh, index its item after that uh, we have to write a string bed and the same way we have to uh, get in the form of string string j combo box to dot get selected item okay this one after that we have to write the next one is for price a string bed okay sorry price is equals to j text field uh, two dot uh, get text okay and after that we have to just uh, write a query so query is equals to in doubles okay and here we just need to write insert into room values okay and this uh, we just need to write let's this uh, okay we are getting error okay we forget to write a string we are taking a variable this one 
that's why uh, okay so after that uh, doubles and here we just need to write room number okay room number this one after that uh, the next one is for room type okay room room type this one and after that the next one the next one is for bed okay after that uh, the next one is for I think uh, price so here we just need to write price okay and after price the last one that one is not booked so status we are just writing not booked okay so here you can see the complete uh, query is inserted into room values and you can see the fields room number room type bid price and not and you can see the status okay move to the second line okay so what we need to do is we just need to call this uh, method and we just need to pass the query and message so for that first we need to import here so here i am going to import import project package and uh, here after that we are also going to import uh, mysql okay java dot uh, dot sql dot uh, asterisk this one okay let's move a little bit down here and let's insert let's press control and space bar to see the options so insert update delete you can see the getting options and after that we have to press uh, dot can see automatically we are getting set data method in it just press this you can see automatically take it in the query so here we just need to write the query and here we just need to pass the message so i'm just writing the message successfully fully updated okay after that we need to display uh, refresh this page so set visible false and the new visible is our manage room dot set visible and here we just need to write true okay so after that uh, uh, what we need to do is we just need to display the values uh, to like uh, in this table so for that what we need to do is we have to move to design section here after that here we have to move to the navigator bar navigator and we uh, you, if there is no option of navigator you just go to the windows and click on this navigator you will get this option here you can see this one is a j frame just go to the properties okay okay we have to generate an event so just right click on this event component component show just move to this section after that uh, we what we need to do is we have to call this uh, like this one select method sorry select uh, dot java class and in that we have a method we have to call that so result set rs equals to we have to call that select this one select dot get data and in this we just need to pass the query so select star from room okay after that we have to call this default default table okay default table and after that we have to write model this one when we press enter it automatically uh, you can see imported this okay and after that we have to write a name model equals to and here we just need to call default control space bar we will get the options so this one just select that and after that we have to write g table and one dot git model this one okay after that we have to write here try catch block okay catch uh, if any error occur in that case we just need to display that so i'm just writing and here we just need to press j option pan uh, j option pan dot show message and here we just need to write null okay after that uh, move to the try block and here we have to write while rs while rs dot next rs dot next okay this one and in this we just need to write model dot add 
row this one a new object control space bar object this one and after that uh, we just need to write here rs dot get string and here we just need to write the one we have to display all this so one and just copy this and we have to paste it here four times one two three and four okay after that we have to just change this to three four and five let me show you the complete line model add row new object rs dot get string one two three four five after that we have to semicolon at the end okay after that uh, we have to uh, don't need to write anything we just need to close this con connection rs dot close so just press control and you can see the option so i think uh, this is all about uh, manage room let me run this and let me show you let me run this project from the home page okay so you can see the page is visible manage room okay and here just write 101 101 let's select this and let's set a uh, price 500 and let's click on add room you can see successfully updated let me click on okay you can see this is visible let's uh, write 102 and let's say double ac okay uh, let's say price uh, should be 700 and let's click on add room you can see successfully updated let's click on okay you can see 101 102 is visible here so it means that manage room part is working fine so this is all about manage room part of my hotel management system project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you